occurred. We just had an armed robbery come out. He's a dangerous gang member. We're going to an auto ped. Car versus a person. Unknown injuries. Dispatch said it was a hit and run. Criminal mischief. I'll just drive through. We're gonna go out and look for something. Okay. To make sure we can prevent any crime from happening. There's several syringes over there, probably to shoot meth or heroin. Highly legal. She started hitting me and she started kicking me. We think we have a possible suspect in custody. 40 code word. Someone is throwing furniture in the dumpster. Ah! You wouldn't catch me doing that. <laughs> Before we I'm code six at Federal and Howard. Did any of you guys call 911? Down there? Is this the one that called 911? Do you want to give me a description of the lady that, or whoever took your stuff? Really long, dark, like black hair. Okay. She's wearing a black jacket. Before to Edward, I'm out with her. Stand by for suspect info. Hispanic, female, 20 to 25, black jacket, denim jeans, long black hair. I was on the train, I had asked her to turn her music down and she didn't respond. She just said, what? and then she turned her music up. I don't even remember what I said, but then she started hitting me. So I threw my drink at her, because that, that's all I had in my hand was a drink. Okay. Like, Can you ID her? If I saw her, yeah. Okay. Can you ID the female that assaulted this young lady? Yeah, I see. We just got the information we needed from one of our witnesses and the victim. We think we have the possible suspect in custody in one of our cars right over here. So what we're gonna do right now is a show up. We're gonna have the, the suspect step out of the vehicle. We're gonna have a witness that's gonna drive up there and hopefully ID the suspect. Hey Valco, bring that uh, suspect down over here. This is a suspect. Both the victim and the witness both stated that this is not the person we're looking for. We'll have a couple guys probably just drive around and see if they can see anyone matching that description. If not, we'll just take a report and we'll get handed up to our detectives to hopefully close the case out. This shift, uh, swing shift, see a lot of different things. It goes pretty quick. The scenery's nice. You got all walks of life out here. You got your parks, you got the highlands out here. You have your, your gangs out here. But I think if we're on top of it, it stops a lot of problems. 40 to Edward, I can take that disturbance on 15th and Irving. We have some skateboarders that are on an abandoned building that are just, I guess they're climbing on some, of the, some portions of the residence and skating off of it. So we'll just tell them to move on. Let's see. Four to Edward, I'll be out with about six skaters. How's it going? Doing all right. Are you guys skating on the, the roof and whatnot? Yeah, we were doing a little bit of that. Yeah, unfortunately we can't do that. We had someone call in. They're just worried about your safety. Would it possibly like be okay if we leave, like, squeeze in like two more minutes if that? One run, one run, one run, one, got one. One more. Would you guys, what, make films and just put them on the internet and whatnot? <laughs> you wouldn't catch me doing that. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, no problem. Yeah. Have a really you guys take it easy. Make that video. <laughs> Put me in it. Guest starring. <laughs> <laughs> How law enforcement is viewed right now by teens. I think that interaction right there is going to help out the next uh, time these guys run into law enforcement. You know, I, I could have went over there and said, hey, get over here, sit them down, you know, and went to, you know, did everything I could have just to detain them longer. But these guys are just out having fun. You know, both sides were respectful. So down the road, this is this contact's gonna go a long way with them. I started out in uh, education. As soon as I graduated um, college, I actually got a job with the University of Northern Colorado as an admissions counselor. And then from there, one of the high schools that I recruited from was Montbello High School. I liked that side a little better. So I switched over and became the school's post-secondary counselor the school resource officer there told me if Denver was hiring, he told me to put in. I put in, um, tested well, and then here I am. It's an abandoned house and uh, we have frequent squatters there, so we're gonna go check it out to make sure that there's no one in there. Right now we don't have a lot of calls holding. When we don't have calls, we can go out and do these preventative measures to uh, stop crime from happening. That's clear. Is this open? There is signs of uh, 
people living down here, probably some uh, transients. People have been going to the bathroom up in here. You can smell it. There's several syringes over there, probably to shoot meth or heroin. You got your pipe back here. You could probably do marijuana in there, meth, heroin, you name it. Someone's crushing pills. So you got a whole bunch of stuff. So he's got a little Bible. Hopefully he's reading that. I hope they're using that for the spiders because I know there's some stuff in there they probably can use to get high on. The people out here on the streets are really creative. If they want to get into a place, they usually do. If you break the hinge off, you're, you're, you're good to go and you can, you're able to get in. This was back there in the corner and this hinge was attached there and they just took something and hit it off and walked right in. They'll be back, so we'll let them get their stuff and then hopefully we catch them in the act. They're gonna think that it's safe so we can actually come back and get them. I've always known I wanted to do public service, whether that be on the education side, law enforcement. I like being a place, it's something new every single day. I'm always helping somebody out in their darkest hour. Every job I've had, it's always helping out people. And this is just another step and I'm, I'm content with doing this for as long as I can.